Oh shit, we are here with Smoke on Tour Finals. Smoke on Tour 27 Finals between Luigi and Solwyn. Hold on, let me change the size. Hold on, let me put my boy on the front. So, Solwyn versus Luigi. Solwyn is who I played in Smoke on Tour Finals two seasons ago in the summer of 2018 when I won. Uh, yeah, so I beat him in the finals, and he's back in the finals a year later. So one of my good friends of Pokemon for a long time. I'm very biased here. I really want him to win so bad. Shots to Luigi. He also came from PO, my same origins, Pokemon Online. So he gets a chip for that, but I cannot root for him against my boy Solwyn. I really want Solwyn to win. Um, this is his third time in Smoke on Tour Finals. Uh, just like I kept trying to win that tournament. Like, he is probably the only person who's tried harder than me, I feel like, to win that tournament in recent years. So, I really hope he gets it. Just one of my good buddies in general. Great player. Cool guy. And, I know, like, I'm, like, super, uh, like, enthusiastic about this whole series as well. Like, I feel like I'm, like, playing this shit almost. Like, I never get, like, I get hyped up for my friends' games all the time. But, like, I'm super invested in this one. I knew I had to catch it live. Like, I carved out my whole schedule. I really want to see my boy win. Like, I really want to see him win this tournament. Finally. Because, like... When me and him met in finals, it was kind of sad because, like, one of us had to lose. And we have both been trying every season for, like, ever. He'd been trying longer than me. But uh, my road to winning was really tough, and his has been even tougher. But now, he's finally back in the finals. It's time to go. Solomon is a beast, and he's about to get this chip. Okay, so we see Protect turn one. Um, Luigi, let's go over the teams. I just have to give the backstory, you know, the lore. Um, but, yeah, so Solomon goes for Protect. Uh, we see a double the Magnus on, on the Jirachi. Yup. Uh, this could be Stealth Rock, Iron Head, Thunder Wish. Okay, Body Slam. Goes for the Para. Doesn't get it. Oh, no. He's trapped now. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Hold up. He goes for Wish, but it's Charge Beam, so he's going to lose 1v1 because um, he's not U-Turn. Unless Luigi doesn't get any boosts, but he will. Oh, no. This is pretty bad. Oh, wait. Hold up. Hold up. Not bad. Not bad. little dodge action. Okay, he gets another boost. So now Luigi's going to sub again here, I think. So someone's gonna what wish? I would wish. Oh yeah, I should have. He should have wished. Um, I guess it wouldn't have mattered though, because Luigi would have kept trying to stall it out. But Magnuson goes down in HP, which doesn't really matter because it's not too important. But killing Jirachi is great for Luigi because now Latios is able to be a much bigger threat. Um, Solomon's win conditions are most likely going to be Keld, which is probably Scarf. Uh, yeah, probably just Scarf Keld. Prelum is decent if you're able to kill Lottie, but Lottie's gonna be tough to kill. Uh, Mamoswine in general is a pretty huge threat too because it's able to take care of Breloom and Thunderous. And Rotom Wash in general is a huge threat too because it gets free votes, which is into Drill. Um, on top of that, I think Solomon's Jirachi is the rocks. Yeah, it has to be because otherwise he has no Stealth Rocker. So I like Luigi's team though. This is interesting. Uh, it's like, it's not Drag Mag, but it's Magnezone plus a lot of mods that benefit from Magnezone. Such as Mamoswine Drill, Excadrill. Drill. Because if he didn't have a Fer if he didn't have a Magnezone here, a simple Ferrothorn would destroy his team or a Skarmory. So if Magnezone's very important for him to have here. I'm really surprised that Solomon decided to bring such a standard sand. I mean standard rain. Um he really likes standard sand, but I don't really see him using rain like this that much. Um well no, he used rain last round, I think, as well. I just didn't expect to see it twice in a row, I guess. And not like a standardish rain like this. I feel like I don't really like his rain um too much. Looks kind of slow to me. And in Rain in general, I'm not a big fan of because I think it's too weak to Latios. Jirachi is not a good long-term counter to me. Um, I mean, of course, uh, someone had a bad hand here running into sub Magnezone plus Lottie. But in today's black-white metagame where there's so much drag mag, Magnezone is at an all-time high. Lottie's at an all-time high. Um, you know, it's tough for Rain to get past Lottie all the time. And that's the reason I only really use Sand in black-white. Because Sand has T-Tar plus Skarm plus faster Alakazam. Um, plus sand residual chip stuff like Lottie is way more manageable, but I feel like Solomon's gonna have a very hard time this battle uh, He's gonna have a very hard time. This oh Luigi goes for a sub Someone goes for another body slam here. I think why did Luigi go for sub? Um, unnecessary play. I think Solomon goes for wish here If I'm Luigi, I just take the key. actually Luigi's gonna sub again Luigi's gonna sub again for sure because if Solomon goes for uh Hmm. I think Solomon's not going to go for Wish, but I think he should go for Wish. I think Solomon really should go for Wish and just, like, try it, you know? Because it's I'm pretty sure Luigi is not HP Fire Magnezone. It's either Flash Cannon or HP Ice. It's one of the two. I don't know which one. Uh, but either way, it's one of those. So he goes for Wish on the sub. Great play by Solomon. And the reason this is a great... Well, it's not really a great play. It doesn't really make a, it doesn't make a huge difference. Actually, because he's still going to sub again. Yeah, wait, Salak? 
so much screwed what is this set this is insane this is insane i didn't know it was sub select i didn't even notice that it had no item like it didn't have leftovers i didn't even notice it had no leftovers i was yeah i should have noticed that sub select this is hilarious what a tech this set is going to kill everything i think i think this set's going to kill everything if it's max speed yeah i think this is actually going to sweep him if this is max speed there's no way that this tech just hit oh my is that the title for this vid sub select zone my boy someone better not be cursed you know how i started off how enthusiastic i started this off but shots to luigi for this tech what is this so i've never seen this in my entire life before to bring something like this in the finals is an insane invent like that's an insane decision does he not have thunderbolt he gets body slam crit you oh, he's gonna kill it now right oh so it is hp fire okay okay i thought it'd be hp ice or flash cannon because a set like this is walled by garchomp oh wait it's probably not t-bolt Oh shit, it's probably not Tebow, so it's Flash Last for sure. Because there's no way you'd want a set that is sub select without a uh without a way to hit ground types, right? You you wouldn't want HP Fire to be your only move to hit ground types. That makes no sense. But this looks horrible for Solwyn, because he has to like sack everything. Like he has to go to Thunderous here and break the sub with HP Ice and then go Scarf Keld. And at that point it's over, because Lottie's gonna kill the rest. I don't think Solwyn can win from this position on. Manazone's gonna get two kills. Someone goes into Toad. Uh, maybe he goes Thunderous here. Um, or he Scarf and he sacks it. Goes Thun. Great play, great play, great play. If he Flash can on the Switch, someone was finished. But yeah, um, now you can break the sub. But yep, good play, good play by Solon. Um That was a play he had to make. I would pivot Keld here. But we'll see what uh, Solon wants to do. Pivoting Keld, it's because you don't... I don't know if you need the HP that much. But I feel like he wants to keep his Thunderous. He can get some hits out of the Thunderous. You know? He can get some hits out of this thing. Uh, like some nice focus blasts against Drill, stuff like that. If he's able to chip the Lottie, um, Scarf Keld can win, stuff like that. He forces Lottie in more. I don't know. I think Solon needs to keep as many sacks as he can. So even if there is a potential for Keldio to get hit by Charge Boom on the Switch, I think Solon has to make the play. Because if he loses Thunderous here, then he goes Scarf Keld, knocks it out. But at that point, it's too late. Rotom will come in, Vol Switch on it, or Lottie will come in and Draco. He has too few sacks. If Solon loses a Pokemon here, there's I think it's a hundred percent loss if Thunderous goes. He has to go Keld. Or he like he loses anyways. Yeah, he has to. And because Latios looks so so bad for him to deal with right here. So I'm kind of interested. Um yeah, he has to go Keld. I mean I would go Keld here because at that because like I said. If Thunderous dies here to a Flash Cannon, Keldeo will come in. Revenge kill the Magnezone if it's Scarf. But then Latios comes in, Draco Meteor kills something. Uh, then what is Solon supposed to do? Whatever he brings in, Luigi just picks a sack. Latios keeps on coming back in. It's at full health, as we've seen. So it can even afford to take a couple Rock Switch-ins because it's just Scarf Keld. It can't Oko. Um, it can't do more than like 60%. And even has Extra Drill to spin on uh, Breloom and stuff like that. And also, Extra Drill, I think, is able to live a Scald from Tentacruel at max HP. So it can even spin. Uh, and get rid of those rocks if it really needs to um but yeah someone i think has to go killed here because again if he loses the sack it's just a worse position for him to be into because he needs all mods possible but even with that in consideration i think someone is in a really horrible spot um like i'm i'm just trying to see what on luigi's team is an immediate threat barring ladios brilum of course I mean, not Breedlum, sorry, Rotom is. Breedlum is the check to Rotom, but it invites in free Lottie. And Breedlum, even with that Protect, Spadef, Toxic Orb set, is not able to live a Draco Meteor from uh, the shit. If I'm Luigi, I go for Charge Beam, no fucks. Nah, nah, you probably Flash Cannon. You probably Flash Cannon. <laughs> um, but yeah. I mean, I would go Keld every single time. Even with the threat of supposed Charge Beam, I would still go Keld because... You need to keep your sex or you can lose. Someone's probably formulating game plan here and probably re realizing that he needs Keldeo. I'm thinking. I don't know. This is a really intense game. I did would not have expected. I can't believe Luigi pulled that double on the... He Draco the first time. Then he pulled the double. That was excellent. And then he caught the uh, Jirachi slipping. I feel like Solwind, uh wasn't in the wrong to make that. He goes to Keld there on Flash Cannon. Great play. Had to make the play. And he made the play. Very proud of my boy for making the necessary play so not all is lost it's bad but it's not the end of the world so luigi sacks the magnezone at that point he realizes he's done enough he got half on this 60 percent on thunderous and killed jirachi 
he can go home happy with that that thing did way more than it should have done um and that'll come into play for sure i think an underrated threat on soul wins team is actually that tentacruel uh because it's able to oko mammal swine it can beat extra drill with some chip it's faster probably uh jirashi probably doesn't beat tentacruel i don't know what jirashi that would be but uh rotom in general doesn't like taking toxic and even though it'll take tentacruel can take wisp and get chipped in general it's able to annoy luigi's team if it's faster than drill i'm assuming it is um but we haven't seen luigi's rocker yet that can be either extra drill or jirachi we haven't seen luigi's scarfer yet either um so we see a switch into tentacruel on the specs draco okay uh someone's trying to preserve all mons so i can see a protect coming here or a switch to breedloom one of those two will come here for sure a protect or a switch to breedloom um go to breedloom wait wait he went jirachi okay he goes to protect uh jirachi shuka i think shuka rocks or shuka thunder I have to, okay, I guess going Breloom was. I said go Breloom because if it's Spadef, it can take two Dracos, and then if Luigi wants to go Rotom, it covers the Rotom and lets him get a Spore so that he can get some sort of uh, initiative off. But I think Luigi is probably either going for Rocks or just Thunder or something. I don't know. Is this Scarf? Doubt. Could be Scarf. That'd be weird. Because um, I'm thinking the Drill is more likely to be Scarf. That seems more possible. Lottie's already confirmed to the specs. Zone was. What I, okay okay so this turns out to be full spadef full spadef with thunder damn if he burned that that could have been nice uh, but no burn there uh luigi's for sure clicking thunder again i think and so if i'm soul wind i would really go thunderous here but the thing is going thunderous doesn't even really matter because you still die to ice you in the next turn so it's not really that beneficial um you can get off a of thunder for like 35 40 percent no no probably 40 percent but then from there, what do you do? You Keldeo, you Hydro Pump, but then you lose. Because Latios comes in, kills something with even Dragon Pulse that time. So Solon realizes that and goes for this. Oh, okay. Luigi goes for a U-turn. Pretty interesting play. Um, I wonder why he did that. I wish someone got a burn one of those turns. But either way, I think Jirachi is in Surf range, so it's chill. Uh, Lottie comes in. Solon is forced to protect. He might have to hit the double. He might have to hit the double. Which even then might not be enough for this thing to live. Um, the next Draco. Either way, he has to find something to pick versus this Latios. This thing should be banned in black white. I've been said that, dude. Specs Latios is too threatening. I I always use this thing every single time. I swung on try to use this thing. I use this thing. Uh, yeah, I used it in all of the. Oh no, I didn't use it in one of them. But I used it in the semifinals and the finals. Uh, Latios. One of them was Specs. One of them was Life Orb. He goes for Draco as Solman does pull the double protect, but he has to be able to live this here. And okay, so Solman does that. Bring his back in Tentacruel. Like I said, Tentacruel was gonna be an underrated threat. Sacks the Thunderous there. I guess someone realizes it's going to be tough with two ground types in the back anyway. Uh, and Lottie, like, he's forced to make a lot of predictions. He rapid spins those away. Um, Luigi goes back into this to go for his Thunder, I'm thinking. But someone might just sack this. Someone might just go for the Keld Sweep, but it looks very unlikely from where I'm looking. Um, he goes for Scald here. Can we get a burn in this bitch? Come on now. Can we get a fucking burn? So no burn, but that oh fuck that sucks because now he's gonna go for thunder again or he might go for rocks he might go for rocks too but i don't know i think i would just thunder if i was him i just take the kill bro because if i'm luigi i'm already thinking i won at this point uh for the most part this shit looks quite over so much has been making it close but that magnezone really did such a hit on his team that i don't really think he can crawl back into a favorable position uh anymore like i think it's just too uh cut and dry for luigi right now but we'll see this is quite interesting this is quite interesting let's see what these two are up to um but yeah Solon's play is just to either scald or he can go breed if he really wants to but breed doesn't even help um it's just gonna invite in memo i don't know what Solon's keldeo is but i assume it's defensive he just sacks it gets crit uh yeah i mean it did 48 the last time this 49 this turn it could have been a roll we don't know uh maybe the crit mattered but she was para too so either way so goes into this just to go for a surf to knock this out so can win if he like crits everything um but it looks quite unlikely if he has to double crit lottie and he has to crit uh rotom <laughs> so that's pretty tough he goes breathe here on vault quite obvious as luigi's gonna go right back into latios i'm thinking right here i really okay 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 i think that with some good luck Solwyn may be able to win. I'm going to tell you right now, Breloom gets obliterated by Draco, even with Max Spadef. 
this thing is gonna get smashed because Volt Switch did 15. So like, how much do you think strong as Draco does? Like, like probably a hundred. <laughs> I know that's like a, a pretty stupid way of explaining it, but I'm telling you, I'm pretty sure Draco Meteor will most likely kill the Breloom because they even run a little bit of speed, like 24 speed or something like that. But Luigi just has to sack extra drill and go for a spin instead, which I completely uh, understand. He's doing that so that Lottie for sure sweeps and he can bring in as many times as he wants. Um, now he can for sure play a set game. So sacking drill is a good play. I like that play. Um, this is probably Scarf Drill. The only way someone could take this into a positive situation is if he was Substitute. Or SD Mock Punch or something. But he's not. He's Protect Spore. What? He Drain Punches there, but Drill lives. Well, either way, Luigi's sacking Drill here. So... You just Drain again. Okay, seed bombs. Is it spore or can we get a dodge? Can we get a dodge, ladies and gentlemen? Wait, wait, wait. He might be able to outstall the Dracos and then do something crazy, but I doubt it. Um Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You go toad and then double back into Breloom on the Rotom, and then you might be able to win, maybe, but it's tough. But that's the play. You gotta go toad and then you gotta double back into Breloom. That might be the only play. Oh man. Because going for the miss is tough. If he goes into Toad and Luigi misses on the switch, that's like the biggest blessing for Solon. But it lives. Okay, because now you go right back into Breloom. You go, damn, if Solon wins this, right back into Breloom, right? Yeah, my boy, my boy, my boy. Let's go, let's go. My boy, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, okay. Damn, recovering from those mag turns was insane. But he's probably going to go into Sleep Talk Lottie now. Uh, yeah. Wait, why did you see bomb? Wait, it's fine though, because he protects on Dragon Pulse. It can spore accordingly. But this is also kind of bad because Mammal could come in here. I would go for his Drain Punch. Drain Punch or Seed Bomb, please, please, please. No! That's tough. Or he should have doubled to Keld there. But that would have been like an insane read. But regardless, Protect was not the play. That was really obvious there. Because why would he Draco? If anything, he Dragon Pulses, and you can still go for Spore. Unless it's not Spore. But man, that was extremely obvious. Um that he would switch i really don't know why someone protected he should have because he already made the the big ball play by doubling back so why didn't he uh capitalize like that was so obvious that turn 41 that he was going to mammoth when i said it before it happened like that was like 100 percent obvious because he loses if he if he doesn't do that play man come on now. there are plays that like a player will make if they have to make it or they will lose and we already saw a play earlier where someone had to go keldy on magnezone this was one of those plays on turn 41 where luigi had to go Mama Swine, or he could have put himself in an instantly lose position. Draco Meteor versus Loom was never coming out. That's not even a potential. That's such a high level play that just, like, that's an insane play. And the odds for Luigi are not truly 50 50 going for that move. He has a bigger chance of losing. That's why he, man, that's tough. Like, I thought he was going to either Dragon Pulse or hit the double the Mammo. That's why Soul One's play was either Spore or Attack. But now it's like fucked. Like, now it's like, uh, it's tough. Because Luigi goes into Rotom Wash, um, I think. Man, dude, if he... But, I mean, he... Uh, the problem is, he couldn't even... Even attacking there didn't matter. Because Mammo lives. So, he had to... If he had Spore, though, it was a wrap. If he had Spore, though, it was a wrap, I think. Well, maybe. Dragon Pulse might still twit KO Loom even with Protect. I didn't think about that. Um... Maybe he had to double the Keld, but that's such an insane play. Double the Keld is such an insane play, because what if he just locks into Dragon Pulse? Then you lose your, your pick. So you can't really make that play either. But he hits the double to Breloom on the Rotom Wash. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. So now what, though? You go for the last ditch effort Spore. Someone's going to go for a Seed Bomb here, I think. Did you Seed Bomb? Bulk up. Wait a minute. 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 Someone might just win. Wait a minute. I didn't know it wasn't Spore. Did, if someone wins this game... That man's crazy. But he might just win right now. I don't really understand why... Wait, 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 wait. What if this drain punches here? That did a lot. That did a lot, actually. Hold on. This looks bad for Luigi all of a sudden. I think. This looks... Wait, 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 wait. I think this looks really bad for Luigi all of a sudden. Because I think... Wait, wait. I think he's, Luigi just lost. I think Luigi just lost. Hold up. Because you drain punch here and it's a blessed play. Oh, no. Did he just lose? Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Never mind. Never mind. Because you protect here on Lottie. Pulse won't kill, but then Surf kills. Did Solwyn just fucking win? Oh, my God. No way. He might just be the best black-white player of all time if he brought that shit back. 
Oh my god. I think he wins. Unless it's like Psy Shock Kel Unless it's like Psy Shock Lottie. Or Psy Kick Lottie. Um, or, 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 or CB Mammo. If it's Choice Banded Mammo, but it's definitely Metronome. Please, for all things that are holy, do not flinch this man. Do not f flinch this Breloom. I swear to God, do not flinch this Breloom. This shit better not flinch. This shit better not flinch. I swear. I need my boy to get the chip here. Yes, 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 yes. That's, you know, it's SPL. Solon was the first undisputed ranked number one black white player. This is why. I don't even know how a player could come back in a game like this. And it's a wrap because it's Scarf Cal. Yes, he did it. He did it. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe he won this game. Oh my fucking god. He is so good. What the fuck? I gotta talk shit. I gotta talk shit. That he might be the greatest black white player. What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck? Dude. Soin is the best black white player. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I have. N it was so over. It was so over, dude. And he pulled it back. He kept comp. That was beautiful. You know what's funny? Uh, I played Soin my first ever smoke on tour playoffs. I played him in the semifinals. I won round one. Played him in round two. He beat me in black white and ORS. And uh, then I played him in uh, what's it called? last the last time i played in the finals so he was my first loss and my last win in my smoke on tour career and he beat me in black white both series we played because he's nice in black white dude i've used so many of his teams as well i think luigi misplayed a little bit with dragon pulse um because i mean if he had dragon pulse he should have gone he should prioritize going to it uh luigi definitely kind of threw in that sense but like actually luigi threw hella hard but jesus christ dude the way someone played was like <laughs> I don't get it like that was so beautiful that was like a you have to win type game that was like you must make all the plays to win that's my boy he wants the ring he wants the fucking finals ring you guys don't get it like this man i feel so enthusiastic about this series i'm emotional about this series i need my boy to finally win uh we've been waiting on him to win smoke on tour forever um and so i'm hoping finally he gets it let's go crazy he won this uh that game I still think Luigi could have had a better opportunity to bring in Latios, um, because he played great in the beginning, but then he, like this guy saying, Lex, it doesn't matter how well you play if you toss the game, he's saying they're ruthless out here. I don't know how he outplayed the Latios. Even losing the Memo Swine turn, like, shout outs to Solwyn. Shout outs to Solwyn. Incredible. Incredible. Shout outs to both of them. I mean, they both played well. Again, I think Luigi misplayed the end, but Solwyn made all the necessary triggers in the end game, and like, man. Like you could see my emotions and my like my voice change when I realized like when he hit the bulk up, I was like, oh, he's gonna fucking win. Like I cannot believe he pulled that back after that Magnus away crazy and the specs Lottie. The specs Lottie should have killed every mon. If he had pulse, Luigi should have never clicked Draco. If he had pulse. And he did have pulse. So in general he threw by clicking Draco all those times. Because pulse would have done all the work he needed it to do. So in general, he misplayed, um, for sure. And I think he should have won that game as well. But we can just take that as a blessing from a man so um, Damn. Not bad. Let's see what's next. Come on, let's get this ORS game. Okay, so my boy Solwind is bringing... This is the team I used versus him in the finals. That's so funny. Oh, no, I had Garchomp over Landers. This is the team I used versus him in the finals. Luigi's team is very... Uh, you can you can see you can see the tools he's using on this team. Gliscor is meant to take on balance. Manaphy is uh, meant to take on balance and stall. Lopany is meant to check offense, and then we have some other guys. I think that Soulwind is going to six zero him with Calm Mind, Ice Beam, Clefable. I think so because he has Tran, but I think it's going to lose if it's Bolt Beam. I think it's Ice Beam for sure, uh, but we'll see. Okay, so he goes for rocks, turn one on sleep powder. This reveals to be helmet. This Landorus is pro. This reminds me of my uh, 
my team with the Stealth Rock Offensive Landers T. But now we know that Solwind is either Scarferless or it's Scarf Latios. Wait a minute, I just realized Specs Latios or whatever Latios destroys Solwind so bad it eats his ass. Like, he gets popped. Oh, come on now. Come on now. We see a Calm Mind here. Oh, we're going to see if we switch to Keld now on Rocks, I think. Or Taunt. What are we seeing here? Tries to go for Calm Mind again. I guess someone wants to win immediately. We see a Toxic on the switch. Someone, come on, man. He's got T-Bow. Oh, no. It's trapped. Come on. Oh, he goes for Moonblast. Well, someone throws out Keld. I mean, he throws out Clef for no reason. Okay, someone, if all you had was Moonblast, that was a really bad play. All right. I guess he's going for Moonblast special attack drops. But Luigi's getting pretty lucky with this shit. Can we get a miss? <laughs> Damn, I didn't even miss his Dracos. Uh, but someone got paired, unfortunately. And he loses his Clef to uh, a bunch of Magma Storm hits. But honestly, someone played that kind of stupidly, bro. I can't lie. Like, he kind of just was like, whatever. Take it, my shit. So, I don't know. I mean, it was CM Moonblast, so it wasn't going to break Heatran anyway. And Magmatran. Luigi's team is really uh, anti standard i consider bringing magma trend as well to an orash game quite recently i thought it was pretty anti-meta with magma storm hp ice um but you can see luigi's using a lot of those texts balance anti-balance texts magma trend uh manaphy gliscor in general this is an interesting team i don't like it that much uh i don't really like no uh i don't know it looks bad versus lottie it looks so bad versus lottie uh because his only steal is heatran the tang is helmet so everything just dies to draco meteor his team also, everything dies to Tornadus um, once you knock Heatran. So, I mean, you can go into Gliscor, but they all run HP Ice these days, so I'm not too big on it. But Luigi in general brings insane Oras teams. Last round, the semifinals, he brought a team with no water resist. And he had, like, Scizor, Garchomp. Like, if someone brought Keldeo, it would have just been over. Like, he would have just lost, but he didn't play Keldeo. Instead, his opponent brought regular Dragon Dance Tyranitar, so you can see what we were dealing with in the semifinals. But either way, there seems to be a lot of thought on this turn. Luigi de decides to sack his Gliscor here, uh, which is fine. I just realized he gets obliterated by Keldeo too, because Tangrowth gets 2-hit KO'd, Menifee's slower, and Lottie can only come in one time. <laughs> nice. So he has to sack the Gliscor. Um, he goes into Scarf Mag. on. <gasps> no! No, dude! Come on! Come on! It was over! It was over! He just lost a Pokemon, dude, to Volswitch. You gotta be shitting me. You gotta be shitting me with the Ice Beam Freeze. What a stupid play. No, dude. That's such bullshit. No, dude. No. This is a free Vol Switch, not a Freeze. Now Solwind is pressured because he has to go into, like, Magnazone. I mean, he has to go into... Dude, this was a wrap. He got a free Vol Switch into whatever. He got a Vol Switch into kill here. That's actually so... I think Solwind won right there without the Freeze. Because he would have gotten the kill initiative and then it was over. Free Ice Beam again. So bad. You should I would Ice Beamed again. Either way, he's going into Tran. Solwyn, make the double. Solwyn, make the double into Keld. Make the double into Keld. Solwyn, seriously, make the double into Keld. Please, he's going to go into Heatran to get up his rocks up. Please make the double into Keld. Alright, I'm trash. Never mind. Oh, it's Scarf. It's Scarf. It's Scarf. I didn't know it was Scarf. I didn't know it was Scarf. Okay, 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 okay. That makes sense. Because either it's Scarf, Lander, is T. Okay, okay. I said it could have been Scarf, Lottie, or. Okay, okay. Because it was either Specs or Scarf. But either way, I think there was Scarf Magnazone too. And even if it wasn't Scarf Magnazone, if it was Specs, he still kills with Volswitch because this thing can't do anything. Such a lucky freeze. Such a lucky freeze. He's going to go for another freeze here. Um, and he misses Zen Headbutt. Great. So now this is going to 1v1 the, uh, the, the Metagross. Great. Scarf Ice Beam. This is over at this point. Uh, I think Solmund will lose to uh, Magnazone. I mean, I'm sorry, not Magnazone. Lopany. But yeah, this is a shitty Oras game. Damn, dude. That's tough. That's tough. This thing really got like <laughs> froze this, killed this. Basically, Hex Metagross killed that too. At this point, it's a wrap. It goes. Oh, it's Rocky Helmet Landris. Not bad. Not bad. I would pivot Metagross here. Uh, you have to pivot Metagross here on Latios. I think you have to pivot Metagross here. If I'm Luigi, I HDK, but that might be too brazy for him. Please go Metagross. Come on, Solwyn. You gotta make the plays in the. In the heat of the moment, my boy. Ah, <laughs> uh, come on. Come on. I mean, I guess he was just going to speed side, but come on. Because now, now Luigi's switching out to Heatran. Like, for sure. Someone needed to make the necessary plays, man. I mean, not to say that, like, oh, like, I'm mad. Like, oh, shit. Like, it was so obvious. It wasn't. Well, someone just, I mean, uh, Luigi just sacked, uh, 
Latios if it's Pursuit Metagross, which it should be. I don't know why he stayed in like that. That was a really bad play because now Focus Blast can sweep. Slash Scald can sweep because Tango to a KO. Very confusing play. Um, assuming it is Pursuit. But it's still really tough. Oh, it's not Pursuit anyway. It's Ice Punch. Oh, okay, it's a wrap then. Double the Keld here. You kind of have to on the Tang. Oh, it's Earthquake. I guess Luigi's taking the safe win by clicking Giga Drain here anyway. Yeah, yeah, he's not going to try to fuck around with uh, throwing. At this point, it's over. Yeah, he goes for Freeze, but at that point, it's over. That sucks, dude. Without that Freeze, that would have been a drastically different game. So, Luigi's zone in Gen 5 went crazy, but Solwyn's zone didn't love him. That shit was not trained well. I guess we're going to three games. Um, my poor boy. <laughs> Soul Wind. <laughs> it's probably Spec Psychic uh, Lottie too. Um, but yeah. That's that. Wait, is this already done? What the fuck? Oh, what? Never mind. Sorry, I got linked a replay. I thought the game had already ended. It was just up to that point. But yeah, he seems to be Sky Shock Specs. Oh, he wakes up. Yeah. But it's a wrap at this point because return will kill and that's that. Freeze was really stupid. That shit should have been over. That shit should have been a wrap. That should have been a wrap. That man said GG. He said, All right, I'll take that one. He said, I'll take that one. That. If he didn't crit shock, he just lost. Did you guys just realize that too? Hold up. If he didn't crit shock, didn't he just lose? Because Landers would have lived? Because <laughs> he wasn't Ice Punch. Wait. <laughs> Assuming it. It might die to fake out return, actually. Uh, at 50%. But, maybe, I don't know. Either way, that's an unlucky game for my boy. Of course, I'm biased because I want my buddy Solwyn to win. But, it's okay. Game 3, Gen 7. Let's get this money. You get lucked a little bit. It happens, it happens. But my boy will cement it in the Game 3. God, that was bullshit. That was bullshit fucking freeze that shit was a wrap wish it was pursuit metagross damn what an ass team from luigi shit worked out let's see damn that freeze really sucks man because regardless of what the magnezone was scarf or specs it's still getting a kill and winning the initiative war right there because there's nothing that uh that so that uh luigi can go into off of all switch if he goes to helmet tank he takes like 40 to 50 percent um and if he goes to Lottie, then he takes like 30%. And then uh, Solma can just go into whatever he wants. Like he can go into his own Scarf Lottie, which was a big threat. He can go into Metagross. He had too much pressure. And he would have had more kills. And he wouldn't have had to sack 50 mons to uh, Manaphy. That's so frustrating. Let's see what Gen 7 has to offer. So Luigi brings a Mawile team as Solwyn brings a very ugly looking sand. Okay, Solwyn, let's be careful versus Greninja. Let's be careful versus Mawile. And we'll call it a day. Alright, so Solomon decides to go Sandro. Drill looks very, very good here. Let's do this shit, Solomon. Let's win, bro. Let's win. I'm ready for this. I told you guys. I want my boy to win so bad. Like, I be getting as excited when I win my games. Like, sometimes I be getting even more invested in when my buddies play. Because I want them to win so bad, too. This is the finals. Game 3. My man should have won that Gen 6 game. He should have won it. In a perfect world where Ice Beam's freeze rate isn't 50% when it's against me and my allies. You know, in a balanced world where that's not the case and it's only as true for 10%. Someone would have had a chip by now. But, you know, the unfortunate, the unfortunate situation is he has to go to Game 3 instead of taking it in 2. But he's going to do it right here. He's gonna do it right here. Hopefully this age as well. Oh, I'm really I'm really talking a big game. He better win here. Otherwise, I'm gonna look like a clown when I upload this. But shit, I got faith. Let me switch the sides. I gotta have my boy. You know, protagonist, protagonist view. Protagonist point of view. Um I'm hella nervous. <laughs> okay, okay. This hope this isn't whirlpool. I would scout by going to tang. I would scout by going to tang. Solomon, don't get lazy. You gotta you gotta you gotta scout for all the text in SM, Solomon. Don't get lazy. Um no fucks getting 32 percent off on my though might be good in combination with tangrowth oh it's sub punch wait a minute this is fine for my boy Solwyn though because he just chipped my so heavy and even if wait that didn't even do anything wait ice punch coming out go packs go packs go packs go packs go packs go packs hp dude that's so good for Solwyn. luigi just gave away the entire my for free okay that's actually so good for Solwyn. this is probably taunt 
Go torn. Torn, torn, torn. Oh, it's a wrap. 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 Everything's getting chipped. This is that shit I like to see. So now he has to healing wish back more while if he wants a chance. This is that shit I like to see. Okay, Skulls, get out of there, bro. It could be Whirlpool. I mean, it's probably not Whirlpool, but like... He scalds again. This is Rox Jirachi, but my boy gets a free drill here. Yup, no pressure. Do not let off any pressure. No pressure whatsoever. Go for the Z steal here. Go for the Z steal here. No pressure. Don't let it down. Now he might go for regular. Yes, that's right. That's right. No pressure. No pressure. That's right. That's right. That's fucking right. Who was talking shit? Who was talking shit? That's, what's the chat saying? My boy's going off right now. My boy's going off. He's making all the right plays, all the right mid grounds. Let's go, Solwyn. Let's get this W. I'm so hyped right now for this. Let's go. Um, let's go. Let's go. Okay. So Corkscrew on the switch to Lander's T. Fuck yeah. He gets a great uh, chip on that thing. Now, next time this thing comes in, it's a wrap. It's going to Swords Dance up. It's going to kill everything. Except for Greninja, but it's fine. Gliscor on the double. Great play. Great play, great play, great play. I don't know what so uh, Luigi predicted. Maybe Gliscor. I mean, maybe Tangrowth. Uh, either way, he's going to try to use this as an opportunity to what? Oh, he SDs up. Amazing play. Amazing play for my boy. Let's roost. Let's roost right here on Z. I'm thinking we roost right here on Z. Um, but maybe this is not Z. I think it's Z, though. Because who else is Z then? Gren? Seems kind of weird on his team. It's offensive torn from hurricane damage. That's a fact. Um, Z torn. Yeah, definitely Z torn. But yeah, taking that chip on Lander's T is really appreciated. Solon will like that a lot for later. Uh, yeah, that's Z torn though. So something to consider for later. Solon has to figure out what he wants to do here. Let me just pulling another double switch into either Greninja or Jirachi this turn. Uh, I would assume it would be Greninja. He could even go back into Tornadus because Regenerator. So he's pulling the switch into either Jirachi or Tornadus. Yep, he picks Jirachi. Solon goes for Recover. Uh, he gets a free spin here, but I don't really understand why he didn't just hard switch. Uh, or just Scald, rather. I mean, it didn't matter either way, I guess. And plus, uh, if he didn't recover there, he wouldn't have come back at 100. He would have came back at like 90-ish. But either way, he gets the free spin here. That's good. Extra Drill is phenomenal in this matchup. I'm not big on Jirachi uh, at Luigi's team at all. This team looks very, uh, I don't know. There's something off. Jirachi plus Mawa on the same build is not that good. I played a team similar to this in SPL and I crushed it. A team like this is like, I don't know. There's just something off about it to me. Um, yeah, I don't know. A team like this, I could just not use. I don't think I could have success with a team like this. It looks weak to way too much. Like, I feel like I would six, I would 6-0 this team with Celesteela, for example. Like, I would heavy slam everyone to death and I wall Jirachi, so. And in general, I feel like this team has trouble uh, with steel Pokemon. Scizor looks like it would destroy this team with SD Bullet Punch. Drill in general, we already see that thing is going to be a big threat later on. And it gets free spins on Steel-type Jirachi. So that's nice. Let's go. Let's go, Soul Wind. So Luigi's really thinking about this. I guess he's trying to think, okay, what's my win condition? I got to be smart about this. I'm assuming Jirachi is healing Wish. It just makes the most sense to me. So what do you go for? U-turn here? Okay. So he went for chip and or hoping he was faster, whatever. Go for Iron Head here. Oh, it's helmet though? Or is it Z? No, it is Z like we assumed. Is Z fighting? Maybe. But either way, Luigi's going for U-turn here. Yeah. Um. So, not the end of the world, I guess. Is this... What? So this isn't Whirlpool. Otherwise, we would have already seen it come out. This isn't Whirlpool, I guess. Oh, he goes for Madness. Solman just goes for Scald again. This is boring. Okay, nice Tangro. Um, would he knock off? Or what? Knockoff's not a good play, though. Oh, so it is Z-Torn as we knew. I thought he should have gone Torn. Good play by Luigi. Because now he can get up rocks. Oh, he switches out on Scald. I would have got up rocks there because then so when it's scary for him to go hard drill because he could get body slammed, you know? Oh, my boy. My boy finally makes a play. We're going to see rocks go up or we're going to see this. Oh, this shit's getting pursued. Let's knock this out. This is not Z fighting. It's Z flying. It's Z flying. Trust. Put that on everything. Put that on everything. So when don't even scout it, my G. Just kill it, so when. Be a boss. There ain't no Z flying. That's no Z. It could be. It could be. Ferrothorn looks like a big threat, actually. Ferrothorn looks like a big threat, actually. Solomon, scout, 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 scout. I'm scared now. 
<laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. Heatran looks like a big threat too, even with Feeny. But Ferrothorn is that real demon. They're looking at his team. Like, at least sees everybody. It gyroballs all these dudes. Walls, it, only Mawa can beat it. And that thing has to get up a sub. So I'm thinking it could have the potential fighting coverage. But knock off U turn Hurricane and then a fourth attack. Four attack Torn is very rare. You usually see Defog or uh, Taunt. Then again, he might not have a need for Defog when he has Tapu Fini and Landers T. But then would he sacrifice Taunt? Either way, Solent, get out of here, bro. Get out of here. I don't know. Maybe I'm just shook. I can't say what I would do in a battle. In a battle, I'm crazy. I might just instantly click pursuit and be like, fuck it. If he's the fight, I'll still find a way to win. I'm that guy. But you could just lose right now if that is the fight. Interesting, though. Um, it's most likely. Okay, did he scout? Uh, Solent is the best. Let's go. Wait, Bloom Doom? <laughs> My man trying to hit Rotom. My man trying to hit Rotom. But you got to be kidding me. My man really trying to hit Rotom. That's hilarious. But good job by Soma to scout the Z. Like I said, uh, he had nothing to lose by scouting for that. Unfortunate issue is that now Solwind is going to have a harder time spinning away the hazards. Because uh, the Misty Terrain needs to come back up. Uh, but it is nice that the Z Grass Knot is gone. The Z really had Bloom Doom. What kind of bullshit is that? You really had a Rotom Lure? Dude, just knock Rotom off and you like beat it. Unless he expected offensive Rotom. Either way, that set is really trash, uh, I think. Like, what do you go for? Facade, great play, great play. Chip the Grand, chip the Grand, great play, great play. This thing is going to be amazing chip. Amazing chip. Because now, he's going to be able to pursue this thing uh, later on. Um, it seems to be Ash Specs. Uh, but Torn comes in here again, or Feeny, either one. Goes for a spike. Uh, okay, I would Earthquake there. Real talk, I would Earthquake there. Let's see. What's Solon do? He hits the Scarf here. I think he thinks he can play patiently, but I don't think that's the case, bro. What is Solon's Jirachi? Scarf? Solon, you need to find a way to spin those hazards away without losing your thing. It goes for recover, but like, be smart about this. This is Taunt, right? This has to be Scald. Scald again. No, Solon. Okay, it's Thunder Punch. Just Scald here, though. Wait, actually, it's hard to Scald here, though. Um, either way, Solon can afford to lose Tangrowth. In a dish, he's gonna go torn though. Yeah, 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 he's gonna go torn. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the reason he went torn is because he I guess he cannot. Uh, he can go for hurricane on the switch and or apply pressure. Still, cause he, I would still go back in the torn. I would still go back in the torn here. Oh my god, paralyze the tango. That's annoying. That's annoying. That's gonna definitely help now when uh, he healing wishes the mawile back up. But someone has to make a play here. The torn's coming back in. I would go into drill and spin. Come on now. I get it. He doesn't want to make the play because it's like it could be compromising, but he should have made it right there. That paral that paralysis on Tang might end up being annoying. That was a bad T-Punch too. That was pretty obvious. If it has helmet, he's going to go to it. I don't really understand why Luigi made the first play of subbing up, focus punching, and losing all of his health. The Tang growth. Greninja comes in here. Oh, this isn't even Scarf? What? He goes for Dark Pulse. Titar here, but that's so scary for someone because if Luigi doubles, which Luigi will double the landers here, I would always oh, stays in. Oh my god, and it misses the toxic dude. This guy is so lucky. This guy is so lucky, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Um, he goes for rocks there. The reason he went for rocks is because it limits Greninja while also forcing the defog. This guy better not hex two games, man. If that toxic hit, that was a wrap. Greninja was not gonna sweep. And then it looked really good for Gliscor. But it's okay. It's okay. He could have still healing wished at some point. Either way, it's great that Solon was able to get up the rocks. Because now, at least, uh, he has some sort of direct damage dealing. Like, he has something to d deal damage to uh, Tornadus and Gren. Damn, I can't even talk. I'm too shook. I'm too shook, bro. I'm too shook at this injustice. But either way, we throwing out Skulls left and right soon. This is not Taunt. What is this bullshit set? What is this bullshit set? He's just trying to stall. Oh, he's trying to burn. Oh, he's trying to burn himself. So, okay, okay. Oh, great. Finally, we burned the Feeny, um, which is going to be great for Solon now. Uh, he's able to play around with this Feeny a little bit more. Um, the problem is he just got burned, so now it's like he's running out of recovers way faster. Yeah, this is actually bad for Solon because I just realized he's running out of recovers way too fast. He needs to find a way to spin, bro. He needed to make the double on that Torn. And get those rocks out the way. Because at this point, the Feeny's killing everything, bro. So you need to, like, you know, 
This is bad. And Jirachi dies to hazards too. He might need a sack, spin, and then bring in Jirachi and Wish or something. That Toxic Mist sucks, but someone really should have spun on the Torn at some point. He has to spin. If he spins, he has a good shot because it's not like Get Backer. Sorry, Get Backer is Luigi's old account name. That's just what I remember him as. But it's not like Luigi is going to have an opportunity to spike again with the Greninja at 47. That seems quite rare of an opportunity. Um, but we're losing HP on Pex at an alarming rate. And uh, that could mean Tornadus beats it. Is it not Pursuit T-Tar? It must be 4 attack. Either way, this is not good for Solwind. I think he's trying to get Chip so he can kill it off later, which I understand. But you need to keep at least 4 recovers, I'd say. Because he can't really rely on this to beat the Gren. Man, that Toxic sucked because Gren was no threat. But damn, Ice Beam Freeze and a Toxic Mist. Let's see if Solwind can still keep up with it. We also got to remember that Healing Wish exists. Healing Wish exists. So something will come back. Jeez, what's boy supposed to do here? Go Gliscor and pivot a little bit. Damn. I don't know what he's supposed to do. Because, man, why would he bring Protect Toxic Jirachi? Why would he bring that to a game? I mean, I guess, man, this is my problem with Sand. Ash Ground always hacks you. This happened to me. I didn't get hacked by Ash Ground, but it beat me. Just because in general, when you rely on Tangrowth and it regen hitters, they get up spikes. That's why Gren is such a nuisance. Because it puts up spikes and it's able to break through its tracks. This is really bad with no recovers. If he hit that Toxic, then I think that Luigi's last win con was killed. Again, provided he didn't Healing Wish at a later time. But would it be Body Slam, Stall Talk, Iron Head, uh, Healing Wish, or U-Turn? Anyways, let's see what happens. Um, Excadrill Excadro could clean if he gets more chip on Feeny. He goes into Gliscor on the Scald, which is fine because he has more Roosts, but he takes too much. So maybe he sacks this, but even that's kind of insane. I feel like Solwind should have not played as passively with the team he has. You know? Like... I feel like my boy played really passive with this build. Unnecessarily passive to a degree. Um, like the Tornadus with the Z Fly, I don't think that kills in one hit. Maybe it does. Maybe the Calc it does. But if it didn't kill in one hit, he should have roosted it off. Um, and Luigi even went for regular Hurricane anyway. So like, I don't know. I feel like he should have taken his kills where he could. And then he could have just been in a, Like, because if he killed Torn immediately, then it was over. It was also over. Because Tang would have just never switched out. He should have taken his like small kills rather than taking the... They're thinking like this is the full-on win condition. Either way, Gliscor is uh, not looking too good here. He might have to just go for a Suicide Earthquake facade and go from there. Um, man. I think he has to throw away two Pokemon to spin away all the hazards. And that might be both Jirachi and Drill. You know, that might be the only way he can do it. And at that point, then, I think Solwyn needs to commit to making insane plays around Gren. Because if Luigi ever spikes on the switch, it's a L. Or it's, like, hella bad. And then at that point, Luigi's also going to remove hazards if Solwyn spins. Because he has no reason for rocks to be up. The only reason Luigi is hesitant to go for a defog of his own is because he has a spike up at this point. And it's applying way too much pressure. He sacks the Jirachi. He finally realizes he has to spin with Drill. Uh, that's tough. That's a tough reality. Um, but I think... Man, he should have, uh, man. I don't know how this shit went south. The Toxic Mist sucks, dude. But even then, like I said, like that might not even be. Actually, that did suck because he got a Toxic. He could have protected the next turn and Greninja couldn't even have stayed in because it would have died. So it would have never been able to force a switch. So in that sense, it was annoying. But here we're going to see a double on the Tornadus to Titar. Oh, he just stayed in. Damn. Um, I thought he'd double there. This is really bad, I think, for Solwyn. Uh, I don't really see a big win con. Well, it's not that I don't see a big win con. It just seems like... Because you go with Gliscor here, for sure. Well, no, he, uh, he's Stealth Rocks, though. So what, do you crunch with Titar for the chip? Like, what do you do? Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. That Toxic Mix was too tough. No, bro. This is a heartbreaker. After all the lore and shit I put in, that'd be so sad. All right. Stealth Rock goes up. We're going to see a Roost here on the U-turn into who? Greninja, which has to take some chips. So not a big deal. But again, can Healing Wish. So we got to be careful. 
If Greninja is able to be taken care of, I wish the T Tar had pursued because then he would just pursued the shit. If Greninja is able to be taken care of, then Gliscor will sweep uh, the team. That's for sure. I think. Um, but yeah, that's a that's a big thing. Like he has to be able to get rid of the uh, Greninja ASAP. God damn, Ash Grant always doing it. At least we don't see no Magirna in here. Well, Magirna wasn't even good versus either of these guys. They both have Spadef Jirachi, which I think is trash. I'd never use that Pokemon in my life. I use Scarf Jirachi. That thing's pretty good. But Spadef is ass. Uh, either way, that is just the case. They are both rocking the Spadef Jirachi. If only they had something viable over Jirachi, this could have been a much more exciting game. Well, Luigi's was great. Solon's was trash, but Solon's also got unlucky. You just roost here, like, but in in general, it's it's very challenging for Gliscor to pull off the full sweep. Get back, uh, Luigi can go for either a U-turn. Oh, he doesn't have U-turn. Sorry, he can go for either a Landris T or a F Torn, or he can see if he's faster, but he's not faster. Honestly, if I was the real, if I was Luigi. I'd probably sack uh, Landorus or some shit. What if someone knocked off on the Tornadus U-turn? That would have been a great play. Tough play to make, though. Luigi hits all moves, too, I realize. Then he hit all his pumps. He hit all his Dracos. Then he hit everything. Hits all his Hurricanes. Healing Wishes back in. Wait, Mawile? Wait, not Gren? Wait, it's probably Ice Punch. Oh, it's probably Ice Punch. It's Ice Punch for sure. It's probably no stab then. Yeah, it's Ice Punch, Thunder Punch, Focus Punch. Uh, which is an attempt at perfect coverage. Uh, okay. He's gonna Ice Punch here. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. Um, but at this point, someone did never to play. It's... We'll see what happens. I still think Gliscor can do it, potentially. It just looks very challenging at this point. Um... Cause Mawile is taking enough chip here to where it will die to the uh, to where it will die to the next hit. Meaning, please don't get full parried. <laughs> that was a good sub by him. But he uh, Luigi realized if he attacks this thing, he's already gonna be in earthquake range. So he might as well go for the hex. He might as well go for the hex. But the para in general really sucked for Solwyn, um, and I think he's going to lose this game, especially if he gets parried full parried. He's gonna lose for sure if he gets full parried. Luigi might take the kill, but I think Luigi's better off going for sub. I would go for sub as Luigi. Because if you sub and get the full para, you instantly win the game from his perspective. Another thing Solon could do is go into Tox Specs and pivot back into Tangrowth, but that's a really insane play to make. And we see Worry Seed. Why? Why? Did he misclick? He had to have misclicked there. What? He must have misclicked, bro. Oh, no. Kills the tank. Oh no. What the fuck? At this point it looks like a wrap. Cause you gotta go to uh Oh, why did Focus kill? It only did 50 last time. That was a roll. Damn, because he was trying to sack it to the helmet. But he got the focus punch roll. Let's see what happens. Feeny could win. Feeny could win here. Um why did he worry seed? That should make no sense to me. Damn, now looking back, if he hit the Toxic, maybe the two could have done it. But now it looks very challenging because Titar has to go down. So now Gren gets free pulses all over the place uh, on Gliscor. And then that's annoying. And then Hurricane and shit too. And like, this is just bad. I think it's a wrap. I think Luigi will win for sure from the position we're in right now. It looks very... Why did he click Worry Seed? Maybe he thought he went through the sub, uh, or something. Or maybe he tried to predict the Tornadus coming in and take the Regenerator, and that was the real attempt. Man. So then Focus Punch got a high roll and killed it. Or a decent roll. Man. No, this is a tragedy. <laughs> My boy, no. Well, fuck that Oras game with the freeze. Man, if he killed everything, that Oras game was finished. That or Even this game, he got so obscenely lucky, dude. He paralyzed the Tangrowth, um, which he got full parried every time Torn came in. And he probably could have been 
more aggressive with this Tango that we didn't have to worry about getting full parrot all the time. Damn. So Helmet Tang with no Sleep Powder is kind of whack, but whatever. And then Pex did its job, but like, fuck. At this point, it looks very over. I think Feeny plus Gray. If it lived, he was fine, but it didn't live. The worst he play was so crazy. Man. No way that shit just happened. Let's see. Damn, that's tight. That's tough. I don't know now. I think it's a wrap. I think it's over. Because you just beat the sub here with Crunch or whatever the case is. And you died of Focus Punch. Jesus Christ, dude. How unlucky can you get? That Gen 6, it was a wrap. I'm telling you, that shit was a wrap. That shit was a complete wrap. But, may I mean, maybe he can win, but he's not going to win. Post sweeps. Post sweeps. Or it could be surf, but it's not surf. I don't think Luigi can fumble this lead. It's too easy. And he has defog as well, so he never has to worry about switching in his grind. Grind will never take damage again, no. And then Pulse into... He has, like, too many high-powered moves. Dark Pulse, Hurricane, Explosion, all that bullshit. Um... All that bullshit. He goes for facade to knock it out just in case there's a switch of some sort. Let's see. Damn. Let's see. I think that's that. Fuck. Man, all I gotta say is that Oraz game was definitely a robbery. That was a wrap. That was a complete wrap. Man is on quick click the easiest vol switch of its life and Ice Beam Manaphy. He even hacks the Metagross too. Like, come on now. Come on now. That was so done. So done that Oras game. Why does this game always do this? Let's see what happens here. Um, damn. I mean, I can't say he played bad. I think he played his Mawile bad this game. But I can't say Luigi played bad this series as a whole. Uh, I mean, he got the luckier breaks, but he didn't play badly, so I have no, like, it just sucks because I want to see my boy Soul Wind win, of course, but it looks very tough at this point. I think the play might just be going for a dodge or a surf. I think you might just have to go for it at this point um, and hope you dodge. I don't know why Luigi s healed up his, uh, his boy. No, he switched, okay. On Hydro, it hits. You make the double here for sure. You make the double here for sure, but it's going to be Fini, so it doesn't matter. Um, I think this play confirmed it. I think Solman had to stay in, uh, preying on some miss. Because you hit the double here. He recovered. Uh, okay. I don't get it. Kassan's gone now, too. Oh, he's trying to outplay the nature's madness. It's over for sure. It's not over for sure, actually. It's not over for sure. Because you recover here. Now you switch this turn on Scald. Well, you have to switch this turn on Scald. Because you're in... Mm, or maybe you recover again. I'm not sure. Wait, he missed the name. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Why didn't he Scald? Oh, shit. Why didn't he Scald? Well, this is tight. Facade's going to kill something. Nah. That's quite interesting. Why didn't he... Wait, hold up. I still think Gren's going to do it with Pulse. But we're going to see. We're going to see. This just got kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. I would facade. I would Earthquake because I don't think he's switching. Um, but Facade might kill. But... Gliscor's really weak. That's the thing. But I know Solwind is probably calcing right now. Bro, this is too much for my heart. This is too much. Did I just zoom in too little or too much? I don't remember. Whatever. I'm going to zoom out one. Um, this is too much for my heart to handle. Damn. But it's still very tough because Pex comes in at 90, but it takes rocks plus burn. Uh, meaning that pulse is going to be very uh, big damage. I think Luigi is going to switch here into something that defogs. Oh, he sacks the Feeny, which means Landorus must be deep. Well, Feeny's not taunt. Feeny must be fog. This just got crazy. Solwind, I'm going to need you to stay in on the Gren. 
I'm gonna need you to just stay in on the grind. Bro, look, there are some plays where you just gotta do it, baby. You just gotta do it. Just do it this time. So when there are some plays where you gotta be the boss, the boss, and this is one of those plays. Actually, that might not be it. Because if he does have defog on Landorus, which I don't think he does, but if he does, then he wins anyway. Or if he has explosion, then he still wins anyway. This might just be a tease. Can we just get a miss? Can we please just get a miss? That's all I'm asking for. Oh, just a nice miss. Please. Let's get one. Let's get a hydro miss right here. He's not pulsing. He's hydroing for sure. The problem is like... Oh man, I wish he got had T-Spike or something. Do you dodge the shit? Like... At this point, I don't get it. Because he's hydroing for sure. Because he probably still has... The potential fog in the back, right? That's what I'm thinking. This problem is this isn't Max Spadef. He actually pulsed. Oh, fuck. He pulsed. Um, oh, shit. I stole it. So I was right. He should have stayed in. Damn. When I said there are some plays you got to make. That's what I was saying. Because you got to go for the dodge or something at that point anyway. So when, like, now you lose, I think. Now I think my boy loses. Because, like, he has to scald and burn this Greninja to win. Like, he must scald burn it. That's the only way he can win. He must scald burn it. No, my boy. Pulse is a good play. I, someone's got timeout. Oh, no. Did he just timeout on the finals? All right, he didn't timeout. I got so scared. He clicked this move. We're running on Luigi, I guess. Um, Landers T on Gliscor. Wait, he scalded on the switch. So he can dark pulse the next turn and sweep, I guess. But now it's a wrap to Dark Pulse, isn't it? Because now Hurricane hits to win. Or do you switch into... I don't get it. No, Sowin, you just lost. I don't get it. Wait, it probably won anyway. He probably lost anyway at that point. Because uh, Dark Pulse would have killed the Pex. And then Greninja would have died to... Uh, and then this would have died to uh, Spike's Dark Pulse plus Grass Nut. Damn, at that point it was over. That's such an unfortunate series, dude. Like, I I don't think. I just think like the luck was really tough in game two and game three in general had some bad luck for him as well. Man, that is so sad. I think he was going for the cane miss. He played all his odds. He almost pulled it back. Damn, sad series because I really wanted my boy to win, but close series nonetheless. I feel like Gen six was very easy if no hacks. Damn. Gen 5 even pulled back. Tough. I'm sad for this. Of course, I got to be sad for it. But that's going to be Smoke on Tour 27 Finals. That goes to Luigi. And yeah, one hour video. Damn. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Drop a like, of course. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.